Eureka's favoritism eased a bit as barriers emerged Wednesday. Queensland's thrilling pace leaped to fame's suffocating hold on 2.1 million tab. But that certainly didn't surprise coach driver Grant Dixon, who immediately said there's no way I could replace it in the race. Boasting 23 wins from just 30 starts and almost 1 million in prize money. Leap to fame dropped from 1.60 to 1.80 after hitting the 13th barrier. If the four drawn in emergencies fail to gain a start, they will start at gate 9th. All 10 runners in the world's richest harness race will start from the front row at Menangal on Saturday night, meaning Leap to Fame will be second from outside. They don't seem to have much of a chance with a draw. So we're pretty used to them now, Dixon said. H has really settled down here since he arrived on Sunday. He had a hopple with Tim's a trooper yesterday. Nothing serious. Just to keep them both on target. As long as he has a good rest of the week. It'll get him where I want and I'm sure he'll have a great race. Dixon had previously named Leap to Fame best pacer H has produced in his 35-year career. And his dramatic rise in the standings has drawn comparisons to some of sports best Dixon didn't. Hesitate to label Miracle Mile winner catch a wave and exciting three-year-old The Lost Storm as the hardest to beat. Lost Storm takes advantage of the preferential draw as a three-year-old and will start at the second. Barrier should emergencies arise. Catch a wave is fast and very good. He won a Miracle Mile on this track. So it's obvious but The Lost Storm is very exciting and couldn't have done more. It will be interesting how the three-year-olds perform. Especially him. I think he will actually be four when the race is run in the old season. Lost Storm is expected to do well on the Eureka as well. Dan Costello catch a wave will start right. Inside leap to fame. And adding to the intrigue. Longtime tab Eureka favorite and now interrogation runner Captain Ravishing will be out with them. At barrier 7. Good but not great. At least we're in leap to fame. Said Andy Gath. Coach of Catch a Wave. We will go forward but we will not run out. We will want to stay ahead of leap to fame to give us options. Captain Ravishing's trainer. Ahmed Tiber. Was delighted with the four-year-old's Menangal special trial win and barrier draw on Tuesday. We had a few good days and we needed them. He said. His work has been amazing we feel like we're on the right track again and now we've drawn very well. Definitely in leap to fame catch a wave. We think we have a chance now. The lone mare in the race. Encipher. Trained by Emma Stewart and Clayton Tonkin. Will start at gate 3 after emergencies arise because she is a preferential draw as a mare. The biggest winner of the four-year-old's draw was Queensland's new star. Speak the truth. Who reached the sixth door and will start at four? Lost storm owner Justin Baker. Who attended the draw at Circular Tube?